I know in the press there's a big hubbub starting about which is more important, procedural or conceptual um, understanding. And I, you know, I just want to go on record as saying that this is not the question to be asking. This, this makes it sound as if there's a dichotomy. This is not a dichotomy, they're both important. The, the question is how do we get the fluency established? And you can't get the fluency established unless you're really working on the development of the mathematics. And you don't want to sacrifice the development of mathematics by teaching the procedures without the underpinnings because then it, after the early grades, children will never take the advanced courses because they'll see no connection and those are critical too. So this is not a dichotomy, both are absolutely critical. One more thing I want to say about this um, trajectory, this learning trajectory before um, I go on, is that the trajectories that we have used in the past, that many of us as adults may have experienced, was the early part of the landscape where skip counting and repeated addition came in, and then we moved. We thought the next thing on the landscape was automatization of the basic facts. And then we said, okay, now when they have the basic facts automatic, we should go to the standard algorithm. That was our trajectory. We left out the whole foundation of the development of the mathematics. Look at this landscape. Look at all the stuff that would have been left out. So it's really, automatization of the basic facts is absolutely critical, but we want to be using the landscape to work on the development of the facts. The fact that um, the repeated additions can be regrouped is a critical big idea for children. The fact that you can double. So for example, when you're looking at the basic facts, well, two times four is one children often learn early on. All right, well, that, to do four times four, you're practically done, you just double. Eight times four is done, you've doubled. Right. Let's take a look at the relationships here. The commutative property that three times six is equivalent to six times three is critical on the landscape, big idea. You know what, that leaves out almost half of the facts that we thought kids had to memorize with flashcards, because right? every fact can be turned around. All right, the fives is really easy if you know what happens when you do the tens, because it's only gonna be half. So if you know that you can think of 10 eights as the same thing as eight tens. So therefore the eight moves over to the tens column, right? All right, then five times is just half of it. Well, if you use the five times, the six times becomes easy because it's just one, one group more. But you could also, to do the six times, think of the three times and double. To do the nine times, it's one less than the 10 times. Um, the relationships between the facts, that's the framework. That's what's critical in terms of development. Um, and so it, the facts get become automatic, but we want to ensure that we're building the foundation for algebra as we develop them. So it is not just about moving to skip counting and repeated addition and then going to flashcards and then going to the algorithm. That learning trajectory leaves out the whole foundation of the mathematics. We're just not developing a deep understanding of the mathematics when we go that track.